Welcome to the channel. Today we're in uh, Franklin Carbon Culture shooting hams, hamstrings. Got Brandon in town from Kentucky. Uh, national level super heavyweight bodybuilder. Crazy physique. Huge. Um, this year he's prepping for, I don't know if I need to tell that, but he's going to do the Amateur Olympia again. Last year you did that and got what? Third. Third. So you only go up from there. Um, and so we've been trying to link up and get a training session in for a long time. We've known each other for a while. We've got a lot of mutual friends, and um, we just made it happen. He made the drive in today, and we're going to bang it out and then go from there. You got anything you want to say? Yeah, just like I said with Turner, he's a, he's a top national guy himself. And uh, just uh, watch me train. We've been trying to do this for a long time. And watch his videos, and you can see, you know, there are certain guys that, you know, they check in their workout and eventually can get the most out of it. And then – there's another level beyond that. That's kind of where he's at. So anytime I get the opportunity to come train with somebody like him, I'm all for it. So we're getting our calves warm. We're going to, we're, we're just about warm. We're going to really work through our, through our calves and then we'll start into our hamstrings. We'll do a two minute set. But the working set will be two minutes. Move on. You good? Yeah, yeah. Good. All right, let's go, baby. Two minutes? Yeah. Time. That's no joke, is it? All right, we're gonna go to uh, the donkey calf raise. We got we got blood in the calves. We're gonna hit a couple hard sets, and then it's hamstring time. He wants to ride, so I'm gonna kind of push us through it all. Like I said, calves is one of those things that ain't nobody trained calves hard. They're worried about their biceps, their shoulders, and their chest. We're trying to we're trying to look absolutely stand out on the national level stage. I know he is. I'm not doing a show unless I'm trying to stand out. Two in my mind is I'll just do three deep breaths. That's that's the equivalent of like five seconds. In between? Yeah. Put the weight down. All right, here we go. We're working now. Let's go, baby. Big calves. National level calves. Pro level calves. Yeah, right here. Let's go. Two. Three. Come on. Four, five, come on, you got this. Five, six, seven. Good, good, good. Oh, come on, come on, come on. All right, ten, ten. Let's go, ten. There you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. That's right, just like that. It's like that. There's nothing left. This gym. Ain't many other people sweating already. Ain't sweating. Period. This is the gym. This isn't fucking. This isn't fucking going to the movies and hanging out. Like, nobody in here is even fucking sweating. Nobody's fucking grunting. And nobody else is getting better. Just because you're here doesn't mean you're getting fucking better. Blows my mind. Why even fucking spend the time and money? All right, let's go. We're just really focusing on getting our mind-muscle connection honed in on these muscles right now. Our glutes and our hamstrings. Calves have already been taxed pretty good. But that way, when we move into our next exercise, there you go. We don't have to build this mind-muscle connection. It's there. It's warm. Blood's there. We just get to working. Ooh, all right. So our, our warm-up and our calves are done. We're going to start here. Single leg leg curls. Then we'll probably go into like a wide, um, wide leg press. And then follow that with like a um, a dumbbell fifth leg, something like that. Obviously, we'll have to get to that and decide, but this is where we're starting. That was a warm-up. My muscle connection's there. We're both sweating. It's time to work. Whew. Uh. Mm. Like four reps. So we're going to do that instead. We're going to go. I increase the weight. We're gonna, gonna we're gonna go to failure, so we'll probably be able to get ten. The last couple is gonna be hard. We're gonna put it down and rest for a solid five deep breaths, which is eight to ten seconds, and then we're gonna pump out as many partials, bottom half partials, as possible. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There it is. Deep breath. 
deep breath. I'm gonna do some wide stance, feet at the top, leg press. I try to be able to, in my mind, pull my toes up. And the reason I do that, well, the whole rep, my goal was to be able to pull my toes up. I'm not saying you have to. All that does is that just puts the focus on the hamstring. Drive through your heels, lower it through your heels. There you go. There you go. My guys next to us are talking about their fucking pet fish. God damn. So you learning anything about fish? fish? No, these guys over here. Probably going to go 12 to 15, slow and controlled, and then we'll do a time set. We're warm. We're going to do one to two two-minute time sets here. Um, hamstring focus, toes up, feet wide, feet high. We're lowering, lowering the weight with our heels and our hamstrings. We're pushing the weight with our heels and our hamstrings. And as we're pushing up, we're contracting that hamstring. It's no different than a fly. It's no different than a bicep curl. See where we got two plates beside? Look at his hamstrings. That's all you gotta do. He's gonna make me blush. Oh, deep, deep, deep. No, oh. that's it right there. Here, the guy beside us has got four plates on his squat rack. Both of us are sweating our dick off. My guy ain't broke a sweat yet. Yeah, twenty. Woo! Five reps. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Make it suck. Oh. Good shit. Oh. Just that constant tension, baby. Two plates and a quarter will blow you out. Now let's go five partials. Bottom, go. One, two, three. All the way up. One more. Deep. All the way up. One more. Up. That's right. That's a trash can ready and everything. Make Brandon throw up. We're going to do probably three sets of sitting leg curls. One rep. Good. Ah! Shit. That looked rowdy, bro. Good it, stuff. It was rowdy. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> One. <gasps> Good. Just like that, baby. Big hams. Two. Come on. Come on. This one and one more. Five. Now. Six. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, ah. seven, Let's go. Come on. Oh my god. What the fucking library in here. You staring at my hamstrings? Better watch out. nerve injury the following year to the exact day in my neck so I had to get my neck fused together on two levels got a plate four screws in my neck so what that did was affect uh, the nerves coming down in my chest and my tricep part of my back so for basically two years I had no strength on the right side of my upper body so I would try to train it was just pretty much spinning my wheels in the mud for a long time no going nowhere uh, so I finally decided to do a national show again in 21. Uh, looking back, probably shouldn't add, glad I did. Uh, 
placing wasn't good, but it was uh, it was the fight to get there. I still at that point I couldn't bench press uh, 185 pounds of Smith machine, even going through that prep on my because my right side was weak. So coming back to next year after that, we went kept clawing back. Things started started finally getting somewhat close to normal. Went to the uh, Olympia, the amateur Olympia. Got back in third place position there, so getting real close, knocking on the door again. So this year, like I said, we're going back to Orlando. We're just trying to get the job done. That's why I get the opportunity to come down and train with people like Turner. I'm take advantage of it every single time. If you come down here with him, uh, he's only going to do one thing. so going to make you better. So he's intense. He's smart. So I just while I'm here, I take notes. I've got chill bumps just listening to him tell his story, man. Like, like I said, I mean, that was that was a, a long story made short. But I'm uh, I'm good friends with his coach and him, and so I've kind of been able to see it go through. I mean, I've seen him lose 50, 60 pounds, and mentally, I know how destructive that can be to a bodybuilder, um, and just just the mindset you have to put yourself into to load back up and 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 go through all the all the shit man like like i said no part of this is easy you're getting to see the part that we enjoy but he showed up every fucking day with his meals you know ready to train and 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 it's like he said like you walk into the gym your music's right your head's right and and he was trying to claw his way back and then you know He's 300 pounds, so like he's he's used to going in the gym, loading up 400 pounds on the on the press and just press that, and then not being able to do 185 pounds, 150 pounds, whatever. Like it doesn't sound like a lot, and it sounds really narcissistic and fucked up, but you know we just deal with all of our our problems differently, and and this is what we choose to put our passion and our time and effort into, and so um, I I just admire people like him that have been through things like that and, and there's just really no quit. That's the great thing about a bodybuilder. Like, I talk a lot of shit, but but a, a bodybuilder mindset is kind of like a wrestler mindset. Like, you're the only one there. That, you know, you get to see the highs, but like, and, the, and your friends get to see that, but nobody experiences the lows with you. Um, I say they don't. Like, you've got your family and your friends, but like, you're the one having to look at yourself in the mirror when you've been 300 pounds and now you're 185 pounds. So again, that's his story. I don't want to make it sappy, but I just, like I said, I got fucking chill bumps talking about it. We had a badass uh, hamstring workout. We're gonna get some lunch, and uh, we'll be back to do it again. Hamstrings is a wrap. Just kidding. There's a man going around taking names.